close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left is king yeah. for some reason I love that song and I love seeing it it has a deep voice I could try and pull that as well my my land is is king. Right from <laughs> how am I doing you guys am I trying in music oh wait um it is right here you will know what education really means uh -huh. all of you who are thinking of dropping out of school once you meet my guests tonight you will change your mind I am very serious about that. Welcome to the show. This is Beyond Limits. My name is Anki Dori Sombat and we are excited. We are ready to be inspired, to be motivated, to be entertained because you're going to know something about Mishimiwa. Things about him you never knew and I hope he will be able to reveal them to us. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Dr. Ezekiel Tour. Thank you very much. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me here. How do you feel so far? Well, it's wonderful. You can <laughs> sing. You look like a model. I do. Uh, you are twanging. I didn't hear anything you said. Uh, but I'll catch up. It, uh, <laughs> it comes with where I come from. Mutua. <laughs> so I thought you just landed from America, you know, black like American, uh, trying to acclimatize with the African <laughs> accent. But beautiful. That's a good start. I'm and humble. thank you for starting with the patriotic song, My Land is Kenya. That's powerful. I love that. That's a good way to start the show. Oh, that's nice. I think uh, they should just drop that song. Yeah. All right, so now um, a lot of people are, are seeing you so easy here. Yeah. They have searched you on the internet, they have Googled you, they see serious photos of you. Sometimes you fight for children, you fight for the public. Yes. Through the, you know, film board that you've been a director, you've worked with KBC, you know, you've been all over the place, always the public uh, at, the, at the center of your heart. But now you're here smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man is a guy, as you can see. Yeah. Tell us more about you. Uh, well, I'm a patriotic Kenyan, mm -hmm. uh, someone who loves God someone who believes in themselves, uh, somebody who has no time for haters. I live my own life. Mm -hmm. I celebrate with those who celebrate me. I avoid haters like a plague. Like a plague. And I enjoy life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I believe life is about rules and procedures. Right from the creation, from the Garden of Eden, uh, we were given rules. Yeah. There, 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 there. there is what we should do and what we shouldn't do. Humanity is about freedom. That basic freedom. That's why I like the American creed. Yes. It says uh, every human being was born equal and they have unalienable rights, among which is liberty, life, and the pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness. Some people pursue happiness, but within the limits <laughs> and the con as long as you give you don't interfere with the space of the other people All right. so that's what i preach mm -hmm. but um i think sometimes i come out naturally tough yes because i've been uh, <laughs> i've been a school leader you know since i went to primary school talking talking in, of school yes. i'm just gonna cut you short there and take you to the secondary school today there's a lot of unrest in the country with you know what the students are doing in their schools but you're from yeah. tala yes you went to tala i was the school I'm, captain I'm, and CU chairman for tala high school that's where CU. i did my a level cu christian union Hi. chair and the school captain, when Tala was Tala High School, yes, when it was. I'm telling you, I used to stand at a corner and the entire school, including teachers, would go quiet. If you go to Tala, you'll find uh, there's a plague with my name Wow! that talks of a school captain. The living certificate that the principal wrote for me, it's amazing. It has all the adjectives. Mm -hmm. A cooperative, <laughs> illustrious, hardworking, mature. It has all the qualities I can't even memorize. That guy wrote all the adjectives in the book. So it's not because I was an angel okay. or I've been an angel, and I'm not. There are no angels here. They are just to embrace each other in our own weaknesses and infirmities and, uh, and weaknesses. We, we, we just, just know that, you know, live and let live. Let's enjoy life. So a lot of people are watching today and they're saying he has made it. He's one of those Kenyans. He's one of those people who, you know, we, we, we admire out here. But you do, you have just said you're human. So it is true that you went through certain challenges as Dr. As a Absolutely. Home I was born in abject poverty. Mm -hmm. We were so poor in our family. We could not pay attention. Have you seen poverty? We were so poor. Poor people. I come from a place called Kaloreli, Kaloleni in Mwala. I am so public, by the way, even including the way I embrace my parents and my relatives. Uh, a place called Kaloleni, and that place was neglected. I remember when I was growing up, we were under Kangundo constituency, and the MP was a freedom fighter, 
Paul Gay. Yeah. And he would campaign and reach just near our place and say, the rest of those votes, you can give them to the monkeys. You know, he and with utter contempt. He was like, I don't need them. I've already... Wow. Yeah. We were backward, you know. We were, we, we, we were not recognized. And I grew up noticing that kind of uh, injustice. Eh? I noticed it in our family. My father was so polygamous. He was the Akuku Ndenja of Okambani. <laughs> <laughs> I always say the most resilient woman I've ever seen is my mom. She saw 23 other wives come 23. and go. 23. And I used to ask her, why are you sticking to this guy? When did you go out? Because that time it was very popular for women when you are mistreated. Yes. Just pack your bill and go to your father's. And you tell me, you know, your dad was not bad. Oh, yes. Yeah, he was not like this. Ni karubu, ni pombe, ni muaribu. And because of uh, those issues, and there was no role models, uh, we didn't have a lot of, uh, you know, pillars, uh, light uh, pillars of uh, encouragement yeah. and mm -hmm. inspiration. It was just left, we were left to the vagaries of nature. But <laughs> my mom taught me to go to Sunday school. Oh, nice. And she, we know our poverty, even when you have not eaten, she would say, go to Sunday school. So those inspirations from the environment and the context of the poverty, I think gave me a, a very good beginning. But we were poor, really. I remember the villagers, and God is gracious. Mm -hmm. He's kept some of them who used to lend my mom money to pay for my school fees against rains. When the rains come and she tills the land and she harvests, she will sell the <laughs> yield and the pay. And they would trust her. You see, these are the values I talk about in community, that someone would trust a poor woman like my mom, lend her money for when it rains. And in Ukambani sometimes, mm. it used to get dry. Yeah. I look at that and wonder, there were no collaterals. Yeah. Um, these guys just believed. Some of them I educate their kids today. And thank God, she's still with my dad. My dad is 100, she's 96, and they're still together. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. Um, when it comes to poverty, walking, waking up early, my dad was uh, a no-nonsense guy. So discipline was military, no you know. No jokes. Military. <laughs> we would <laughs> see him and go quiet. Oh, yeah. Grew up in an environment where when he comes, yeah, you all uh, Say, fall in. Yeah, he would wake us up and mm. we had chores to, to perform in the morning before we go to school. Mm. Some of them very interesting chores, you know, like you going to sure? fetch water, you know, at five in the morning. Five with that, you know, that cult, cult, cult that is uh, pulled by bulls and some places that are so yes. steep. That, uh, you know, I wonder how that drum did never, did never, never rolled on us. But you know, look at it. There were snakes all over, um, and, and, and it was the environment it right in the bush. But we grew up in that environment, and that's why I say, the kids in Nairobi, yeah, you have no excuse. Yeah. They got no excuse to say I'm dropping out of school because of poverty. Yeah. I cannot. Education is an equalizer. An if equalizer. you just read, mm -hmm. get good education. Mm -hmm. Work hard, and I'm not saying good education in terms of S, no. You don't have to be an S student, but if you discover your purpose, but pursue education. Education is an equalizer. Let me tell you why it is an equalizer. Yes, my, <laughs> my wife went to Kenya High School from one to from six. Yes. Kenya High School is a, is a school like, you know, it's just for the privilege. Yeah, oh you know, yes. we, we have a joke about schools that are uh, pre, uh, the, the polling stations and schools that are presidential debate venues that look like this, you know. Uh, so she went to a I presidential... I did not know that, but hold... Dr. you have to hold for that moment. In fact, <laughs> the viewer and I are still connecting. Some are polling stations. And others are presidential debate venues. Oh, please, if you're watching, do not worry. <laughs> Whichever it is, remember, you're getting your education with the purpose, you're good to go. I always tell her I'm the boss. I went to schools that are not in the map. She went to Kenya High, but we are married. Because when we met at the university, you don't ask Ulienda Shulegani. Oh, that is not important. What is important is we are now in the university, and we are shaping our future. And it doesn't have to be university. It has to just be education for purpose, for purpose of living and navigating through life. If you can get the skills, uh, the, 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 the knowledge, yes. The understanding that would help you navigate through the issues of life, you know, expand your scope. Education expands. There's something about education. It just opens up. Do I look like I went to a polling station? Uh, yes, yes. I yes. look smooth. Oh, yeah? you, you look like look you went cool. through a polling station and uh, once in a while. <laughs> no, I look like I went through a polling station. Oh, yes. No, I'm, I'm smooth. just kidding. You look smooth. Um, I passed and I'm happy that I'm a CEO oh, uh, yes. despite doing my BA. <laughs> of course, I was posted as a DO. I worked as a DO in Sierra. 
I later became a journalist, worked for the Nation Media Group for nine years. I later became Director of Info uh, Secretary General of Kenya Union of Journalists and the Director of Information and Public Communications. Secretary of Information is the highest secretary, is the yeah. highest job group in the public service. After that, you can only be appointed politically. <laughs> and I've reached the apex in the public right. service um and the sky is the limit i keep dreaming that one day one day just one day. Uh, oh is the one in day uh, oh yes that one will be more original one in day so one in day i will become a big guy he will become a big guy <laughs> <laughs> he has not forgotten home no as much as I, I, I actually like going home <laughs> Well, let us continue. Okay. Besides uh, being, uh, you know, the, the big, I will say the big guy, because Kenyans like to say, oh, that's, that's well. my man. Mm -hmm. um, you are a normal guy, so you do have a favorite dish. Absolutely. Omena I like. and... Um, oh! It's not omena. Look, there is a chicken they do at a place called Rubicat, uh -huh. at the risk of marketing. But you know, that's where, if you want to eat, by the way, that's where we have eaten with the Raila. His Excellency, <clears throat> Raila Amolo Odinga, with the Kidiru. The former eh, <laughs> governor of Nairobi. That's what big people eat. Ruby cut. <laughs> eh? mm -hmm. eh, they cook. Uh, they do something called uh, uh, chicken wet fry. And, wet fry. Yes. Okay. And fish. Fish. Like fish. you've never seen. Yes, call it the way so, it so, is. so basically, I'm a chicken guy. But once in a while, I balance this with the samaki. Uh -huh. uh, but when I get home, my mother knows Motokoi has to be there. Oh, yes. The I was just about to say Motokoi. You know, Motokoi. I, I'm good. Yeah, I pronounced it correctly. Right? Motokoi. 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 Yes. Not Motokoi. You are closer, yeah, don't worry. Oh, the <laughs> yes. So, well, um, now you know that he loves chicken. If you also bring fish, it's okay. But next time, sir, I would love to eat that fish yes. and chicken. Yes, absolutely. I can take the entire crew Ugali, after this. Ugali, chapati. Me, I'm, 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 I'm an open guy. God has been gracious. I grew up in poverty, but these days I find that I have everything that I want. The food and the appetite. You know there are people with the food, but they have no appetite. Others with appetite, but no food. When you have both, <laughs> you're blessed. Where do I lie? So when I get food, I eat. Try me. So you have food and appetite? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I always have food and appetite. Then share. Yeah. All right, sir. Over the this. bar. Over the bar. <laughs> this you have to do drum roll for. In fact, my drum roll. Mm -hmm. Over the Let's do this. Over the bar. Oh, is this one? Over the bar. Over the bar. <laughs> you know haters. Over oh, the bar. Oh, even haters over the bar. Mm, over the bar. Limits. Over the bar. All the limits over the bar. Mm, no bitterness. Over the bar. Mm, haters. Over. Rusha Mikulu Ju, Weka Shida Chini, Banjuka. Banjuka Ju. Banjuka. Yes. You follow me? Yes. Odi. 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 Yeah, you can. You can get him to do this. Yes, they can. They can do this. 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 Sounds like a boxing. <laughs> I think I'm doing it wrong too. Yeah. They will tell us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why don't I see you do it? The dress. Don't you just go. Just go. Oh, just do it. We will celebrate you. We're gonna not... celebrate you. We'll pay you for it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You know it. Break. You didn't know that we're coming back with the best segment of the show as we, of course, close the brain buster. Then we'll go too far away. Let's take a short break.